Hello programmers! Today we're going to talk about C++ stream manipulators. Um, stream manipulators are just functions that are specifically designed to be used with the streams like the insertion operator and the extraction operator. Uh, so let's see a few examples. Well, first I'll start with just a normal CLout statement with the insertion operator, and I'll print a string followed by the number um, whatever stored in X. Right now, 15 is stored in X. So I'll run this, and it's just going to say what we think it does, X is equal to 15. Well, X is 15 if we're going to print it out in decimal format, but what about if we want to print it out in hex format? And I'm just going to plug in hex, um, so hex can work in conjunction with the insertion operator and change whatever will be printed out from that point on. Any numbers that are printed out are going to be in hexadecimal. And so this time we'll see x is equal to f. And in hexadecimal or base 16, that would be correct. And we can make this even look better with another manipulator, so along with making it in hex. I'm going to also type show base. So the base for hexadecimal, oftentimes you'll have a 0x in front of your hexadecimal digit. And let's just see um, what happens when we print out some more numbers. So I'll also print, um, what would be another good one, 20, and then end L, and then I'll print another good hex one. Let's do 32. And so I want to show whether or not this hex stream manipulator, whether it only affects the first number that you try to print after um, the insertion operator, or will it anything that you print from that point forward that's a number, will it convert it into a hexadecimal? And we find out that it does. It's from that point forward. Anything that you print out is going to be in hex. So we've got our uh, hex digits there, and the show base adds that 0x in the beginning. Um, how do you switch it back? If you just want a couple numbers in hex and then you want to go back to decimal, well, we can call the manipulator to change it back to decimal, DEC. And there's also an octal. If you want base um, 8, then OCT will give you the octal. Um, so here we see our first two numbers are printed in hexadecimal. We switch back to decimal format and then we get 32 looks like 32, like what we're expecting. All right, so that was using the hex and the show base and the decimal stream manipulators. Uh, what else can we do? Well, we could also do something like, let's keep with our x is 15, but I'm gonna change the example a bit. Let's say I wanna print out in a width of 10. And I'll just print out the value of x. And I also want to print something after x just because I'm going to show whether or not we're going to be right aligning or left aligning as a default. And I'm going to run this. And we're going to see if we have 10 different positions to print out 15, which really only takes up two positions, as a default we're going to right align that. And so it'll be right next to the stars. We've got a bunch of uh, spaces in the beginning. If we don't want to right align, which is the default, we could left align. And let's see what happens when we run that. And now we're going to have our number 15. And then the spaces are after the 15 because we're left aligned. Um, so that's pretty cool. One more, uh, what I think is a a really useful thing to know how to do is how to um, print out, when you're dealing with money, how to print out two decimal places for dollars and cents. So I'm going to include one more header, IO, man, IP. Um, and then let's see what we might want to print out. So let's say we want to print out the price and the price that we're paying is two dollars and ninety cents. Well, if we just print um, two ninety, um, we're pretty sure we know it's going to come to the screen. It's not going to look like dollars and cents. It's going to look like two period nine. If we want to force it to have exactly two places after the decimal point, then we can do set precision 
and two saying we want a minimum of two places after the decimal point and this would work if we have something like 3.99999 it would uh, end up rounding that up and we just get two places after the decimal point but we also want to fix um, it, to be fixed meaning that there are two uh, even if you don't need to like in this case where we really can keep that precision with just one place after the decimal point we're going to force it to keep that second place after the decimal point and we run that and we see yes indeed this looks like a price two dollars and ninety cents and what if you wanted it to look like money well then I would recommend just put in a, a dollar sign right there and if this is getting too long we can go on to the next line and continue and let me just show that it would work even if we have more digits than we actually need that this will still end up giving us two decimal places and it's not just going to truncate it's going to round and so we end up getting the rounded value of three dollars all right that's it that's my first lecture on stream manipulators